Just um, Jessica? Are we going, are we going Australia yeah, and New Zealand? Yeah, Is that all right? Yeah. All right. I don't want to call the yeah. <laughs> yes. um, Jessica Lash from Television New Zealand. Hi. How hard are you pushing Prime Minister Luxon to join Pillar 2? Does it matter if we're part of it or not? Uh, Prime Minister Luxon leads a sovereign government. So what sovereign governments do is not push each other. Uh, yeah. They talk through issues and they cooperate. And we'll do that. And we'll look for opportunities where there are uh, prospects of greater cooperation. Uh, we have a, a very good relationship between our two nations. Uh, and uh, we have a very good personal relationship as well. And I look forward to building on that. Uh, the Australian. Well, Australia participated uh, last night, as we do. We're one of the 39 countries in the combined maritime force. Uh, we are making a contribution there. Uh, we've said that we will examine further personnel as well uh, being there. And uh, the US is keen for Australian diplomatic and public support. Uh, we provided that along with New Zealand, I must say, in the uh, statement of condemnation uh, that we made just yesterday. And uh, a range of countries uh, signed uh, that like-minded countries. We think that uh, it is important that uh, navigation and, and freedom of movement uh, be allowed. We condemn uh, the actions of the Houthis and the disruption that is occurring. And we know that the US understands the best way for Australia to support this is through diplomatic support and our resources have been prioritised in our region, the Indo-Pacific. We've played an important role in freedom of navigation in the South China Sea and the operations that we're conducting as well with the Philippines. Yeah. Um, Jenna. Um, question for the Prime Minister Albanese. Since you adopted your common sense approach, the number of 501 deportations to New Zealand has dropped. But just this week we had a case of a 57 year old born to Australian parents, left New Zealand when he was two, deported to New Zealand. Why should people who left so young be sent back to New Zealand, even if they do pose a risk to Australians? Isn't that violence growing in Australia? <coughs> Well, I, I don't comment on individual cases. Uh, what I would say is that Australia's position has been to apply a common sense approach uh, to these issues. Uh, that has, I think, uh, contributed to the improvement in relations between Australia and New Zealand.